I'm Gina Loves Christmas and welcome to the channel for Christmasing. <laughs> Subscribe. So once you master my three simple loops, then I'm gonna show you what to do with them. Christmas trees, wreaths, oh my garland. There is a bow in my logo for a reason. It's because I'm a bow snob and I'm not going to deny it. I can make a bow as big as your car, but it's not a practical skill and it's not what we're doing today. Today we're keeping it simple. Perfect bows are like perfect people. <laughs> they don't exist. I know you're thinking about the bow making machine that you bought and you're gonna wow all your guests with this year. I'm Christmas sir, you are the bow making machine. You are wowing. We don't want perfect bows. I want the bows popping. We want personality in every single one. I wanna see the ribbon do what it was created to do and that is flow with body. Let's get to it. Pinch, pleat, pucker, pop, personality. Let's do it again. Pinch, pleat, pucker, pop, personality. <laughs> now I'm thinking the people on YouTube are gonna be nasty right now. Just don't do it. I don't need your damn comments. Go away. This is for the Christmasers. Pinch, pleat, pucker, pop, personality. First things first, <laughs> I keep my ribbon on the ground unless there's glitter on it and then I put it in a container because I'm a professional and so are you. <laughs> first, we're gonna try to get that pinch and it's this is the kind of pinch I'm talking about when you put it between your fingers. It's when you want to intentionally injure somebody but with a smile on your face. You're trying to break down the ribbon to get the pleat. Your ribbon has been on a roll since the day it left the factory. So in theory, it's literally ready to make bows. Like, let's make some bows. Candy cane shape to start out with. You're gonna bring it together, cut the front however you want it, cut it before you go. I like a slant, whatever you like is perfect. You're gonna give it a pinch. You remember the pinch. It's the one you wanna injure someone with, with a smile. And the pinch is gonna give you a pleat. The pleat gave me a pop for that first fold. And I haven't done anything yet. This actually isn't a very good bow yet. The first and most important thing you're gonna do is you're gonna give it the hard twist. The hard twist gives me the pop because now I have my rounded shape back. The ribbon is going to work with you as long as you work with your ribbon. I'm gonna reintroduce it <laughs> to the beginning finger, to that beginning pinch. And now I'm holding it with those same two fingers. Hard, that, that's a double, that's a mini bow, but not, not complete yet until you hard twist. You always end with a hard twist. You always end with a hard twist. You always end with a hard twist. Okay, <laughs> and then I got my loop back. If you don't hard twist, you don't get the loop back. If you don't hard twist, that you'd be doing this. You did it wrong, okay? You have to end with the hard twist. Hard twist, hi. Yeah, it's good, it's good stuff. Rinse and repeat until you get the personality you're looking for. This is a triple, we're gonna go a single and a double and I think you only need three because when you have three, well, I know you only need three because when you have three, we're gonna layer them and you have so much more control over your ribbon and it's gonna perform <laughs> like you want it to. By sticking to a single, double, and triple loop, we are not asking our ribbon to overperform. The ribbon always knows what the ribbon wants to do, but this allows us to be the navigator, and it's gonna add years to the life of the ribbon. Years. Three simple loops, here we go. Single, single loops are just that. It's a single loop. One loop, get that pinch, get that pleat. Don't forget that hard twist. That's it, that's the whole thing. Wire, wire it up. Uh, I'm gonna say two twists on a good bow, two twists. That's it, that's gorgeous. That's a single loop. Going in with the double, same as a single. Fold it forward, get that tail forward, put it where you want it. Oh, look at the pleat, it's so good. Hard twist, pop it back, reintroduce it to your fingers. Don't forget that hard twist, mini mouse, mini mouse ears coming right at ya. Mini mouse, wire it up. Two. Ready to go in the tree. That's a double. Going in with a triple, my fave, always a fave. Give it that fold, that candy cane fold. We're gonna get that pinch and that pleat. If the pleat and pinch is popping, the whole bow is gonna be popping. Hard twist, most important part. Here we go. Bringing it back in, reintroducing it. Hard twist, last one. Getting the final bow. Good, hard twist, there we go bringing our ribbon in. I never let go. Like my fingers kind of hurt a little bit right now, but in a very satisfying way. Be an artist. This is your art right here. 
People ask me all the time, do we cut our ribbon? I mean, I cut my kids umbilical cords, so I'm, I'm down to cut the ribbon. When do you cut it? If you're only using one ribbon, then you should probably wait until you put it in the tree and then figure out where you want it. If you're using lots of ribbons, like right there, it's a good place to start. Practice makes personality, and once your bows have personality, I'm gonna show you how to put them on the tree. That's a promise. Thank you for Christmasing with me today.